సస్టైనబుల్ సిటీస్ ఫర్ టుమారో సస్టైనబుల్ సిటీస్ ఫర్ టుమా సిటీస్ ఆఫ్ టుమారో స్టేట్స్ అండ్ సిటీస్ విల్ బి ఎంకరేజ్ టు అండర్ టేక్ అర్బన్ ప్లానింగ్ రీఫార్మ్స్ వాట్ రీఫార్మ్ అర్బన్ ప్లానింగ్ రీఫార్మ్ అవర్ అర్బన్ ఏరియాస్ ఆర్ నాట్ ప్లాన్ ప్రాపర్లీ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు బ్రింగ్ ప్లానింగ్ రీఫార్మ్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు బిల్డ్ ద సిటీస్ ఇన్ అ ప్రాపర్ వే దెన్ ఓన్లీ యూ కెన్ కెన్ కంట్రోల్ దిస్ ఫ్లడ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ అదర్వైజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు అండర్ టేక్ అర్బన్ ప్లానింగ్ రీఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ యాక్షన్స్ టు ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఆర్ సిటీస్ ఇన్ టు సస్టైనబుల్ సిటీస్ ఆఫ్ టుమారో సస్టైనబుల్ సిటీస్ ఆఫ్ టుమారో దట్ మీన్స్ గ్రీనరీ వేస్ట్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ పొల్యూషన్ కంట్రోల్ రీసైక్లింగ్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ నవడే సమ్ అర్బన్ సిటీస్ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ స్టార్టెడ్ వితౌట్ రెయిన్ వాటర్ హార్వెస్టింగ్ మెకానిజం దే డోంట్ గివ్ ది పర్మిషన్ టు ద బిల్డింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ హౌ క్రియేటింగ్ ది సస్టైనబుల్ అర్బన్ ఏరియా సస్టైన బిల్డింగ్ సస్టైనబుల్ అర్బన్ ఏరియాస్ సో అర్బన్ ప్లానింగ్ రీఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ అర్బన్ ఏరియా ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ అర్బన్ ఏరియా యూ విల్ గెట్ ఎ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ విచ్ పేపర్ ఇన్ జిఎస్ వన్ యాజ్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ జాగ్రఫీ యూ విల్ గెట్ ఓకే ఇన్ జిఎస్ వన్ యాజ్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ జాగ్రఫీ యూ విల్ గెట్ నాట్ ఇన్ జిఎస్ త్రీ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ గెట్ ఇన్ జిఎస్ త్రీ ఐ కాంట్ హెల్ప్ బట్ ఎనీ హౌ సో and urban planning reforms is one building sustainable cities of tomorrow is another this means efficient use of land resources adequate resources for urban infrastructure transit oriented development enhanced availability and affordability of urban land and opportunities for all and transport system in urban areas is very very important very very important that is why they are almost more than 700 kilometers of metro rail constructed in india in kerala it is in kochi am i right uh. so it saves lot of time uh, it reduces lot of pollution so that efficient use of land uh, land planning in urban area is very very important uh, next making cities ready for municipal bonds i think i mentioned this point when i am explaining survey now they are encouraging the municipalities to go for issuing the municipal bonds to collect the revenue to collect to collect some income uh, so that they will use that for development purpose and they will collect the taxes from it again they will repay and this is how they will like how government of india is taking the loan from the public by using the reserve bank of india in the form of t bills uh, and other dated securities likewise municipalities are also encouraged to issue the bond now in this through property tax governance reforms and ring fencing user charges on urban infrastructure cities will be incentivized to improve their credit worthiness for municipal bonds suppose you are a municipality if you taken up any property governance reforms or any charges see instead of simply providing Uh, that recreation facilities you can charge something in urban area no you can't say like only poor people live in urban area it's not middle class people they can pay some 5 rupees 10 rupees likewise suppose if you bring any reforms which will enhance your revenue then for that particular bond government of india will enhance the rating suppose you are from trivandrum you are trivandrum municipal mayor just think you are kochi you are ernakulam and you did some reforms so for your bonds for your bond it is first class rating second class rating third class rating so immediately they want to publish they want to invest in your first class rating bonds so that means if you are bringing the reforms you will be accessible to more resources that is how government of india planning the urban areas to mobilize the resources okay resources mobilization very very important because resources are very important for urban areas during smart missions also i explained did you remember okay <laughs> you people have not attended some people i don't know whether we are going through that economic survey or not okay <clears throat> ah next urban infrastructure development fund again important see if you get a question on urban area if you remember these four five points you can write the answer good answer you can write okay but the tragedy is people don't read budget 
they will try to write as if they are the town planning engineers and as if they are moksha and vishweshwaraya they will design the plans and all <laughs> okay so when you are writing in urban area you will become an engineer uh, when you are writing in health sector you will become a doctor uh, when you are writing about parliament you will become a politician but try to read these documents no this will give ready made information okay okay fine urban infrastructure development fund you are all aware about RIDF rural infrastructure development fund have you remember so from where you, from where you will get the money into RIDF RIDF from where you will get the money into RIDF hmm? hope you have not read that point <laughs> I have written there uh, from where you will get from where you will get money into RIDF rural infrastructure development fund tax uh. banks uh. banks ok you are so close to that uh, but how anyone online students regional rural banks they will provide the loan to individuals, no? Huh. Online students, anyone? Nabad will finance, ha? Huh? Unspent money of priority sector lending money will go to RIDF. Later, they have started diverting it into Mudra Yojana. I said this point, have you remember? Okay. Uh, now you read urban infrastructure development fund will be established through use of priority sector lending shortfall so you have to give that 40 percent now so that means there is no specific allocation to it there is no specific allocation to it so only unspent money will come here and they will take it as loan and they will provide in under urban infrastructure development fund this will be managed by the National Housing Bank. Again important. Who will manage it? RIDF is managed by whom? NABAD. Okay. So, National Housing Bank. And will be used by public agencies to create urban infrastructure in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. Not Tier 1. That means not metropolitan cities. Tier 2 and Tier 3. Next. Uh, all cities and towns will be enabled for 100% mechanical desludging of septic tanks and sewers to transition from manhole to machine hole mode. Enhanced focus will be provided for scientific management of dry and waste, wet waste. So this manhole problem is still a tragedy. Though there was a legislation, we have passed it in the 1993 abolition of manual scavengers act 1993 it was there but even today recently in hindu paper you have seen in dharmapuri district of tamil nadu so that is the tragedy of okay lot of people are no dying in manhole because of releasing of methane gas methane gas very dangerous very dangerous okay so now the government of india committed like 100 percent mechanical desludging of septic tank and sewers to transition from Manhole to machine hole. Manhole to machine hole. Very important. That you can understand. Rise in growth and employment. Increase in capital investment outlay. 33 point. Okay. Continuation of 50 year interest free loans. Okay. Highest ever capital. 100% infrastructure. Creating urban infrastructure in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. Via establishment of UIDF. Urban infrastructure development fund. Okay. Next. Unleashing the potential so unleashing the potential of indians indians having lot of potential but we need to unleash mission karma yogi mission karma yogi for whom for civil servants okay don't say like we prepared for last five years and we cleared the civil service exam you don't need any training okay so mission karma yogi center state and union territories are making and implementing capacity building plans for 
civil servants. The government has also launched an integrated online training platform IGOT, I got Karma Yogi, to provide continuous learning opportunities for lakhs of government employees to upgrade their skills and facilitate people centric approach. See now also you are having departmental level exams. How many of them really write seriously? Both at the state level, central level. Uh, first of all, first day you will take. Uh, next day you will give the answers to everyone. Because it's not like a competitive exam where everyone has to go and sit together and they have to write. Nowadays they are doing online tests. But anyhow, they are trying Mission Karma Yogi. Center, state and UTs are making and implement. When I was working in TCS, you have to do the test. Uh, that must be filled. Then only you will get salary. Okay, and those who have done, uh, he will come and he will give all the answers to everyone and we used to fill it up in 5 minutes or 10 minutes and so that we can upload. In government also same thing happened. I think in government it is open book test. If I am correct, it is an open book test. You can take the book and see and uh, write. Because at least they are, otherwise if they don't give a book, no, <laughs> they don't pass. Anyhow, okay, if they are doing in an efficient way, if it is really yielding results, it's fine. But they will feel like, who are you to examine me? I pass civil services after sitting for three years or four years. I am the top cream uh, of this country. But anyhow, okay. Mission Karma Yogi. Mission Karma Yogi. Uh, next. For realizing the vision of make artificial intelligence in India and make artificial intelligence work for India, three centers of excellence for artificial intelligence will be set up in top educational institutions, mostly in IITs, okay, make AI in India and make AI work for India, okay, so you have to, you have to develop artificial intelligence, that artificial intelligence must work for India, not work for some other country, okay, so centers of excellence, uh, next, national data governance policy will be brought out, this will enable access to anonymized data so this data governance policy you are all aware the issues related to data so data sharing data privacy importance of sharing data role of sharing data in economic impro improvement of economy especially the services sector uh, lot of problems are in data so they are going to come up with national data governance policy they are going to bring the national data governance policy not to protect the privacy of individual but to create more favorable condition for the businesses who will do the business with the data because data processing is now gaining lot of importance see today i am starting a civil services academy just i want to know the information like how many civil servant aspirants are there in the kerala in which part of the country they have in, in which part of the state they have concentrated what is their economic standard if I get the data, no, I will pay some amount of money, I will focus on these sections. From which college, after graduation, lot of people are joining in civil services. I will go and I will target that. So, data driven decision making is gaining lot of importance, both in private businesses, government and all. So, that is why this data has now become the oil of an engine, uh, an economic engine. Okay, that is the importance of data. Uh, hospitals, insurance, uh, banking, private banking, NBFC. Otherwise, no, do you think that they are an idiots to come and start a uh, open a branch here? No, before they are opening a branch, they will do lot of data analysis. Now they can do it easily. And for that, we are coming up with net national data governance policy that will enable access to the data and that will help us. Uh, to take good decisions and that, that will also create lot of economic opportunities. How many, any one of you aware about this big data and data analytics? You know, actually when I was working in TGS, my project is big data. Huge amount of data, millions and millions of files of data. If you ask for a pie chart, it gives in seconds. So I want a person whose age is above 40, whose income is above 5000 above 50000 rupees who is already having an insurance like that if you give some conditions now you can give hundreds of conditions not one condition you can give hundreds of conditions by satisfying all those conditions it will give data immediately within seconds that is how data works i am talking about so many years back i think now it improved a lot so that is the importance of data okay 
again bengaluru hyderabad pune delhi they will all take the opportunities because lot of services sector no you can see you can not only use that it for india you can also export that services okay that is why this is very very important sometimes no some announcements should considered as very silly and simple what is there in data governance we know about data what is data no it has it is having lot of potential okay uh. for the business established see normal people they can't understand this what is uh, what finance minister announced has announced nothing but because of this announcement the existing it sector will get a boom ah uh, next for the business establishments required to have a permanent account number the pan will be used as the common identifier for all digital systems of specified government agencies this will bring ease of doing business now a company can use a particular pan number that itself is fine that gives the identity to that because the process is become very difficult uh, with all other ids and all okay ah uh, next to better allocate scarce resources resources for competing development needs the financing of selected schemes will be changed and a pilot basis from input based to result based okay this is a very generalized thing they can implement in so instead of focusing on input based how much input that i have given is not important how much result that you brought based on that i'll allocate the revenue ah for efficient administration of justice phase 3 of the e court project will be launched with an outlay of 7000 crore e courts ha huh. administration of justice hmm next to enable more fintech innovative services the scope of documents available in digi locker for individual will be expanded an entity digi locker will be set up for used by msmes large business and charitable trust so now under present digital locker system you can store some of your documents now that scope has widened that means you can store many documents many documents it can be your certificate it can be your bank details it can be it returns it can be your property registration documents it can be your insurance papers anything so now they are widening that so that you can use it's not only to say whenever you required immediately you can access it's not to just store okay you can't take every document to everywhere no so if if it is stored in digital digi locker no safely you can access anywhere and apart from that apart from that for msmes large businesses and charitable trust also they are opening the digital locker they are having huge amount of documents no now they can store now they can store okay next 100 labs were developing applications using 5g services we launched the 5g services but we don't know how to use 5g how to use 5g we don't know we are simply using the same thing we are saying oh, we are downloading the movie at 1 minute 2 minute 3 minutes this is how we are saying but is the, the purpose of 5g no so what we are saying is 100 labs for developing applications using 5g services will be set up in engineering institution to realize the new range opportunities business models and employment potential so they will design the apps applications how you can use this 5g how you can use this okay adani purchased it he know how to use it someone purchased they know how to use it but you and me don't know i think after launching 5g there is some disconnection problem are you getting that some call is disconnected did you experience i don't okay but anyhow so we have to develop the applications because we must know we must know uh, how to use this 5g services see again don't take it as very simple thing Uh, an application can provide employment to many people just take the case of zomato uh, uber earlier at a, a time when we don't have the mobile phones this market has not developed to this extent but when suddenly we got the access to internet mobile and that to with an application then we started using based on that people started investing they have started expanding the businesses and tomorrow also with these applications you don't know what type of businesses that may flourish in the economy so lot of potential okay to encourage indigenous production of lab grown diamond seeds and machines and to reduce the import dependency a research and development grant will be provided to one of the iits for 5 years for what 
lab grown diamonds so instead of regular diamonds it is a lab grown diamonds who is having the same optical characteristics of the normal diamond that diamond involves in lot of environmental pollution lot of import cost so we want to create an alternative diamonds alternative diamonds so from tomorrow onwards we can also have a, a diamonds you can bring okay a research and development grant provided for iits for 5 years okay anything missed a uh, ai based solutions in agriculture health and sustainable cities artificial intelligence okay national data governance enable access to anonymized data for research by startups uh, i'll come to this msmes e codes entity digi locker setting up of 100 labs for 5g lab grown diamonds uh, what is this msmes what is this msme <coughs> vivase vishwas 1 vivase vishwas 2 <coughs> under this vivase vishwas 1 if you are writing about msmes you have to code this relief to the msmes affected during the covid period less stringent contract execution for msmes suppose what happened okay it won't come inside no already door is closed <laughs> okay so vivase vishwas 1 under this you have signed for a contract during the covid 19 so you agree to supply something and for that you have taken some money or some contract you signed but because of covid 19 you are unable to execute that contract now these msmes will get sued in courts and all that issues are pending so they want to solve that is vivase vishwas and purely administrative thing next vivase vishwas so vishwas to faster settlement of contractual disputes of government and government undertaking so if any msme is having any dispute with government or government undertaking they will resolve at a earliest time so vivase vishwas 1 and 2 which gives the relief to msmes okay uh, next green growth first one it is already announced in the last year recently launched a national green hydrogen mission with an outlay of 19700 crore will facilitate transition of the economy to low carbon intensity reduce dependence on fossil fuel import and make the country assume technology and market leadership in the sunrise sector target you are all aware it is 5 million tons that means 50 lakh tons that means 50 lakh tons ah uh, this is again important very very important budget provides for 35000 crore budget provides for 35000 crore for priority capital investment towards energy transition and net zero objectives and energy security to which ministry they are giving this money ministry of petroleum and natural gas 35000 crore next to steer economy on the sustainable development path battery energy storage system with a capacity of 4000 megawatt hour will be supported with viability gap funding that means they will incentivize the private people uh, to set up a battery battery storage system of 4000 crore for that if any loss or if any deficiency occurs that will be provided with viability gap funding that means that gap will be filled with the government government 35000 crore priority capital investment and viability gap funding uh, next you are all aware uh, what is this green credit program green credit program will be notified under the environment protection act act is important under which act environment protection act this will incentivize the environmentally sustainable and responsive actions by companies individuals and local bodies help mobilize additional resources for such activities see you are supposed to follow uh, a green norms to some extent you are supposed to follow green norms to such a, some extent but if you are doing beyond that you will be rewarded with some credits 
that credits you can use it and you can sell it to somebody that credits you can sell it to somebody that is what green credits ah, next one over the next three years we will facilitate one crore farmers to adapt to the natural farming for that purpose 10,000 bio input resource centers see natural farming it's very easy to say they need bio inputs from where they will get bio inputs someone need to supply bio inputs so for that 10,000 bio input resource centers will be set up and creating a national level distributed micro fertilizer and pesticide manufacturing network okay natural farming promotion of natural farming uh, next pranam uh, what is this pranam pm program for restoration awareness nourishment and amelioration of mother earth will be launched to incentivize the states and UTs to promote alternative fertilizers and balanced use of chemical fertilizers. Okay. Pranam. Alternative fertilizers and balanced use of chemical fertilizers. Ah, next scheme. Next scheme. Gobardhan. Gobardhan. Ah, what is this Gobardhan? Galvanizing organic bio agro resource dhan. Ah, what you will do in this? Circular economy. This will include 200 compressed biogas plant, waste to wealth, bio manure. Okay. So, converting the waste to wealth by setting up of, by setting up of some bio manure centers that is go burden they will collect the waste and they will put that waste in, into it it converts it into let it be natural gas okay compressed biogas cbg so pranam scheme go burden scheme ah, next scheme is misti ah, what is this misti mangrove initiative for shoreline habitat and tangible incomes for mangrove plantation not production of mangroves mangrove plantation along the coastline and on salt pan lands wherever feasible through convergence between mg narega and kampa funds no specific fund instead of planting here you just go to that beach and you plant there misty and kampa funds i think you are all aware about this kampa Misti. Okay. Pranam, Gobardhan, Misti. Ah, next. Amrit, Darohar. Amrit, Darohar. Ah, what is this Amrit, Darohar? Protect the wetlands. Protection of wetlands. Encouraging optimal use of wetland, enhanced biodiversity, carbon stock, ecotourism, opportunities and income generation. So, wetlands are having lot of opportunities. One, it enhances the biodiversity, it enhances the carbon stock, it promotes the ecotourism and also income generation. These four schemes are very very important. These are the only four major schemes announced, especially when it comes to environment and ecology. Okay. Ah, what are they? Pranam, Gobardhan, Misti, Amrit Darohar. Okay. Ah, next, one more thing. Coastal shipping will be promoted as the energy efficient and lower cost mode of transport both for passengers and freight through PPP mode with viability gap funding. So that means if you want to go to Bombay, you no need to go it on a train or a flight, simply you can go through a ship. That is what coastal shipping by using coastal areas, inland shipping is different, coastal shipping is different. Waterways yesterday we discussed no that is inland waterways. This is not inland coastal. Is it clear? Hmm. That is in rivers, but this is in sea. Government extended support extended the support to vehicle replacement policy. I think you are all aware about this vehicle replacement policy. Ah, commercial vehicles of 15 years, personal use vehicles of 20 years have to be 
recycled okay next amrit preethi youth power ha ah. first one is what pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana 4.0 earlier we discussed 3.0 now it is 4.0 ah, why did this 4.0 they will provide the skill development but in fine okay ah, next measures to boost tourism sector at least 50 destinations to be selected through challenge mode to be developed as a complete package for domestic and foreign tourists promotion of tourism ah, next states will be encouraged to set up unity malls not lulu malls you have to promote the your own unity mall what is this unity mall in this unity mall you have to promote the district products okay what are the uh, one under one district one program what are the district products are there and the geographical the products which are having gi tag and handicraft products you have to promote in that mall so that is how you can create the market accessibility to the products manufactured by let it be tribals artisans waivers like anybody unity malls important government itself is wanted to promote the products okay see in tourism in tourism in measure boost to tourism no you will get this component also uh, what is this physical connectivity is one so there is a good tourist hotspot but we don't know how to go and there is no vehicles uh, that is a very pathetic thing no uh, physical connectivity virtual connectivity after after i going there i want to do a video call to my family and i, I want to show but there is no signal okay physical connectivity virtual connectivity tourist guide guide is important otherwise we don't know what we are observing okay uh, next high standard for food streets and tourists i went to somewhere and i had a food and vomited there itself tourists should not get that experience to tourist should not get that experience that is why high standard for food streets and tourists and tourist security very very important you know in india i think it's not good record especially when it comes to the foreign women tourist security all the relevant aspects would be made available and an app to enhance the tourist experience so everything will together fixed in an app so if i am going to let it be now i am in bombay today evening i land in trivandrum so i want to go so many places so i'll book all these things what is the food available and if at all any security emergency to whom i can call so all these things will be fixed in an app so you no need anybody if you want guide okay you can call guide number is there you can call and i am coming at so and so time so please available so this is how you have to make then you can attract the investor the, the, the tourists they are ready but unfortunately we are not ready to provide the service okay next financial sector next financial sector hmm. mahila samman saving certificate mahila samman saving certificate ah will be made available for two year period up to march 2025 this will offer deposit facility up to 2 lakh in the name of women or a girl for a tenor of two years at a fixed interest rate of 7.5 percent with partial withdrawal option if you are having 2 lakhs and just open the account you can get 7.5 percent interest per annum for two consecutive years without any effect without any change in interest rate in savings account you don't get this in savings account you don't get this to boost the savings in the economy to boost the savings in the economy because savings are very very important already there was a question on savings in upsc mains okay ah, next a central processing center will be set up for faster response to companies through centralized handling of various forms filed with field officers under the company act. this is something administrative thing so if they are having any complaint there is a centralized process and from that it will be resolved easily uh, next secondary market to build capacity of functionaries and professionals in the securities market sebi will be empowered sebi will be empowered to develop regulate 
maintain and enforce norms and standards for education in the National Institute of Securities Market and recognize award of degrees, diplomas and certificate. So those who want to work in secondary market, those who want to professionalize for them, security market is going to, SEBI is going to create some framework and they are going to certify, they are going to recognize. That is how they will enhance the educational standards related to the SEBI and secondary market. Okay. Uh, next, to improve the governance and enhance investor protection, certain amendments to the Banking Regulation Act, especially when it comes to the minority investors. Anyway, majority investors will be protected. The problem is the minority investors. We don't know how they are going to bring, but they are going to bring an amendments to the Banking Regulation Act, Banking Companies Act and Reserve Bank of India Act. Okay, they are going to propose the legislations. Uh, next, financial sector regulators will be requested to carry out a comprehensive review of existing all the financial sector regulators. Uh, what are the financial sector regulators? RBI, SEBI, uh, next, Pension Fund Regulatory Development Authority of India. Okay, IRDI. So, their regulations will be changed. So, for that, they will take consultation from the public. Uh, National Financial Information Registry will be set up to serve as the central repository of financial... Okay, this is not required. Uh, next one, Credit Guarantee for MSMEs. Credit Guarantee for MSMEs. So, these are all measures, take, measures announced by the Finance Minister in under seven different heads. Under seven different heads. So, these are important. So, when you are writing an answer... You can quote, okay? Just I will show it again. And if you take the finance minister's speech, it includes all these things. So, in agriculture, what they did? Public infrastructure, horticulture clean plan program, Sri Anna, cooperatives, agriculture accelerator fund, multi-purpose cooperatives, targeted funding, widely available storage capacity. Uh, next in health, Nursing colleges, sickle cell anemia, usage of ICMR labs by both private, public and new program to promote research in pharmaceutical and medical devices, multidisciplinary course in medical devices. Education, specific focus on teacher education, digital library and libraries at the panchayat level. What is the growth rate this year? 7%. Uh, reaching the last mile, PVTG, Pradhan Mantri PVTG Development Mission. Financial assistance to the state of Karnataka, more teachers to be recruited in Ekalavya Model School, Bharat Sri for digitization of ancient inscription, infrastructure and investment, capital outlay increased by 33% to 10 lakh, continuation of 50 year interest free loan to the state that too increased to 1.3 lakh, highest ever capital expenditure to the railway 2.4 lakh crore, 100 transport infrastructure projects. And creating urban infrastructure in Tier 2, Tier 3 with UIDF and promoting the bonds by the urban uh, local bodies. Unleashing the potential of trust-based governance. Make AI in India some three centers of excellence. Uh, next, national data governance policy to promote the data ecosystem. Vivaste Vishwas 1 and 2 for MSMEs. Phase 3 of e codes entity digi locker widen the digital locker and also promoting the digi locker facilities to the msmes businesses and charitable trust setting up of 100 labs for 5g services based applications developing application and r and d support for the lab grown diamonds which having same optical characteristics but environment friendly and also reduce the import burden green growth pm pranam for usage of alternative fertilizers 500 new waste to wealth plants that means compressed biogas plants under Gobardhan scheme. Next, green credit program like those who are following green norms, they can sell. Uh, next, Misti scheme uh, for the promotion of, for the plantation of mangroves on the coastal area. Amrut Darohar for the optimum usage and improvement of the wetlands. Other initiative like 10,000. Bio input resource center so that one crore farmers will be shifted to the natural farming. 
promotion of battery energy storage ecosystem for that they have given some taxation benefits taxation benefits battery ecosystem promotion of coastal shipping energy just now i mentioned funds to be allocated for replacing the old polluting vehicles with new vehicles youth power pradhan mantri krishi vikas yojana 4.0 with new skill developments measure to boost tourism and unity malls unity malls financial sector national financial information registry central data processing center credit guarantee for msmes mahila samman bachat patra this benefits via vandana 15 to 30 lakh earlier it was 15 now it is 30 other initiative in gujarat the international financial city they have given lot of benefits and create more trained professionals in securities market create more securities professionals in secondary market okay so this is something related to the announcements okay announcements mentioned it in the budget this is one part of the budget okay this is one part of the budget amrita ias academy 